In this video, we will show you how to create a tote bag. We will simply start with an image, which we will convert into a paint stitch design, which in turn will be embroidered and sewn into a nice tote bag. Let's start with the design. First, define the machine and the hoop you're going to use for your design. Then select a fabric. Remember that the settings can be changed during the design creation as well. Now, proceed with a new design. Use Open option to locate and open the image you want to convert into paint stitch. From the image handling options, select Open as paint stitch. Set the width and height within 190 mm by 190 mm so that the design fits in the selected hoop. Click OK and the image will be converted into paint stitch and displayed in the design window. Our paint stitch design is now ready and we can fine tune it by adjusting the preferences. For example, let's reduce the number of colors and select a thread manufacturer palette according to the threads you already have available. When you are happy with the design using the machine icon on the top toolbar, Make sure that the design is centered on the hoop. Then, using any of the expert options, send the design to your machine. Notice that it is always a good practice to make a printout of the design at real size scale, 100%. You may also cut this printout around the design and use that to hoop the fabric in the correct position. Let's get this design embroidered. Mark the center of the outer fabric. Draw a horizontal line on the fabric and use this line to align the design horizontally to the fabric. Place the printed design on the embroidery area of the fabric and pin it. Let's get the fabric into the hoop. Place the stabilizer behind the fabric and hoop them using the printed design as a guide. Turn on the machine and open the design. Set the bobbin and thread to be used first on the machine. Now attach the hoop to the sewing machine. Lower the foot of the machine and press the start button to start embroidering. Continue by changing the threads on your machine, proceeding with the next colors. When the paint stitch is complete, remove the hoop from the machine, remove the fabric from the hoop, and gently pull out the stabilizer. The paint stitch design is now embroidered on the outer fabric. Now let's create the handles. Fold the fabric for the handle in half, then fold both ends along the center line. Then fold in half again at the center line. Using iron for this procedure will help you create neater handles. Sew both edges of the handles. Now 
Now fold the fabric in half to mark the center of the fabric. Mark 5 cm to the left and right from the center of the outer fabric. Pin the handles to position 1 cm past the edge of the front fabric. Sew across the handle ends to attach about 5 mm away from the top edge of the fabric. Align the front of the outer fabric with the front of the lining and pin them together. Sew both sides of the top with 1 cm seam allowance. Now align the seams and open the seam allowance and pin it. Align the rest side of the fabric and then pin it as well. On one side of the lining, around the middle, mark a part of 15 cm which should be left open. This hole will allow you to later bring the inside out. Sew both sides with 1 cm seam allowance. Make sure that you don't sew on top of the parts you have marked on the one side of the lining. Now bring the front side of the bag out from the open part. And now you can sew the unsewn part of the lining. Tuck away the lining neatly inside the bag. And you may also iron the bag for a crisp look. Stitch around the mouth of the bag for better finishing. And enjoy your new tote bag.